mentioned that the legislative session in Washington state is starting on Monday. And one of the issues that both political parties have said they want to deal with is the workforce shortage, particularly uh, in really uh, important sectors where you've got, you know, matters of life and death, hospitals, et cetera. Um, but I just, and again, I'll just let, I'll give you five seconds of of silence for you to fill in the blank of what I'm going to say about Governor Inslee pointing to the worker shortage. Go ahead, five seconds. Yeah, exactly. This is a guy who fired people over the vaccine mandate and still won't hire them back. He writes, and I'm assuming his staff wrote, but his name is on it, so we'll say he writes, in a tight labor market, workers are tougher to find, tougher to keep, and they command a higher salary. State agencies are investing in recruitment and retention at a cost. Across the country and across economic sectors, the challenge to recruit and retain workers has been acute. For state agencies, labor market trends have been disruptive. Ferries need tending, hospitals need staffing. Without enough workers, state services suffer. Well, you don't freaking say. You don't freaking say. What were we talking about this time last year? Speaking of state services suffer. We did a story on how the mountain passes closed for three days, how you had uh, local jurisdictions that were trying to help out the state. The state didn't have enough plow truck drivers. The state had fired people whose only job was to sit in a plow truck or a truck alone during the day because they didn't get the COVID vaccine. And even if I sitting here today give Governor Jay Inslee the benefit of the doubt and say, OK, at the time he was making decisions based on the best available information, which I don't think was true. Um, even if I give him the benefit of the doubt, you fast forward a year, more than a year since the vaccine mandate, and there is no remaining argument for it. Remember, the governor did not mandate boosters. So that means, like me, you could have gotten the vaccine. Gosh, when did I get it? In the summer of 2021? So a year and a half ago, it's not in my body anymore. I didn't get the boosters, but I could be a state worker because I got the initial vaccine a year and a half ago. And someone who never got it but wants to get hired today couldn't get it. So again, there's no remaining common sense basis, public health basis for the vaccine mandate as it exists right now. So when the governor goes on Medium, writes this big, long article about the labor shortage and says, fairies need tending. Hospitals need staffing. You fired ferry workers. And what happened? The We had canceled runs because of staffing issues. Nobody wanted to admit that it was made worse by firings of the vaccine mandate. I mean, the vast majority of state workers today um, uh, complied with the mandate or got some sort of approved exemption, but no one wanted to account for the number of state workers who retired, who left on their own without being fired. Uh, he says hospitals need staffing. Well, you fired nurses who didn't get the COVID-19 vaccine, it's no wonder hospitals need staffing. And even if that's just a handful of people at a hospital, one nurse, two nurses, three extra nurses on staff can be the difference between life and death for people. So I just don't take the governor seriously when he uh, talks about the, the worker shortage. Until you hire back or at least offer people their jobs back who were fired over a, ma a vaccine mandate that no longer has an impact or a basis in reality, then I'm, I just genuinely cannot take your care or concern seriously for some of our uh, public sectors that are short workers.